I hope to pique your curiosity with a vision to the future of how we might enhance brain function as we know it and possibly change our sense of self. If you imagine the brain as this city, up till now it's been as if we've been looking at the city from space. We really haven't had the tools to do anything beyond seeing what whole city blocks are doing. So you can see what happens if there's a blackout and, and you lose a whole part of the city. What you actually want to know is what the individual components of the city, what the people are doing, and what's the information that's being transported from one part of the city to the other. Optogenetics is the ability to manipulate individual neuronal circuits, refining our vision, the function of individual circuits, and how they relate to different aspects of our behavior and of our personality. I'm going to give you a few examples of what's been done with this technology so far. The basal ganglia is a part of your brain that is damaged in Parkinson's disease. This part of the brain contains many kinds of neurons and they're all intermingled. If you activate a certain subset of them with optogenetics, you can make a rat freeze up and have difficulty walking. If you activate a different subset, the rats start moving faster. They take light-sensitive proteins from very humble species, such as algae that you find in a pond, and can put them into another animal, such as a rat or a mouse. This gives you the ability to control the activity of your brain cells just by shining light on them. So imagine if we could use optogenetics or a similar technology to get the input from an artificial sensor into our brain. In principle, we could not only restore function, we could enhance our current functions. So we could give ourselves ultraviolet light detectors, for example, the way mantis shrimps have. Or we could take an example from fruit flies and give ourselves carbon dioxide detectors, and then we could automatically sense our air quality. When things go wrong with the brain, it's just so devastating. I think one of the hopes for optogenetics is that if it can work in humans, that it might be used as a tool for restoring brain function. There's a lot of ethical issues about enhancing your function and making yourself better. This is what actually the whole discussion after my ideas lab morphed into, yeah. which was not about optogenetics or not what we might do, but whether we should do it. So that's a, that's a really great point. So would there be a side effect to increasing your capacity by 20%? It's really, really fun to fantasize about the future. You know, in 10 years' time, we, we might all be enhanced with, with implants. That's the future, and it's a future that should be very carefully considered. And, and I think what we have right now, um, which is just the possibility of learning, is actually exciting enough on its own.